this is the provoked prawn. And a short while ago, I was sent a mysterious package from Glorious with for media use only emblazoned on the top of it, which was curious because I hadn't had any emails to say anything was coming and I hadn't been asked about anything. So I wanted to know what was going on inside. And in the box was two devices. Now, I wasn't told about these, which is unfortunate because it meant that I missed an embargo date. And that's right, because Glorious have put a little post-it note on the inside, which says embargo date 15th of August, which happened to fall right in the middle of my holiday. So I wasn't even at home to be able to produce the content, which is a real shame. But what I'm going to do now is talk to you about what this is. So this is a Glorious Model i2 wireless, an update to the Glorious lineup of mice and potentially some really nice options as well. So this mouse sports some pretty neat features with an ergonomic design, as you can see, nine programmable buttons, and as promise of up to 210 hours of battery life over Bluetooth, which is pretty nuts. And that's 110 hours over 2.4 gigahertz, in case you're curious. Though naturally, that's without the RGB lighting turned on. Now, they've sent both models, the black and white version of these, and I personally think the white one looks nicer, although that's just a personal opinion, obviously. This is naturally a right-handed mouse and is intended for palm or claw grip. And my first opinion when I got it out of the box was it's nice. It's got a nice comfortable fit in the hand, has a slight matte finish to it, and obviously that ergonomic shape, which means it fits nicely in there. Now, don't forget to peel off those stickers and any good mouse review will know it's important to take the stickers off the feet, but it's nice to have remove written across them in big letters. Now, unfortunately, my digital scales are broken recently and I can't afford to replace them right now, but this mouse weighs in at around 75 grams. So obviously with all those holes in it, it's designed to be lightweight and swift, but under the hood, it packs in some new upgraded Things including the Banff 2.0 optical sensor, which gives you up to 26,000 DPI and 650 IPS. So some pretty neat specs. I'll leave the rest of the specs in the description. But you'll find inside the box, there's also a number of bits of other paperwork, including a QR code to scan to remove the buttons, basically to show you how to remove the buttons. Because two of the side thumb buttons are adjustable. The other thing that you'll see is that it's set to 5% brightness in terms of the RGB lighting in order to save battery life. Now, battery life is obviously a big thing here with up to 110 hours potentially that you can squeeze out of it. So it'll be interesting to see how much we can get out of there with normal use. You have a switch for Bluetooth and wireless on the underside, as well as a little LED indicator to let you know what DPI level you're on. So you can see that on the fly. And obviously you can customize things within Glorious software as well but this is the standard out of a box rgb so you've seen what that looks like and they have some pretty understated rgb with a couple of accents down the side and then obviously a glow through the honeycomb shell it's a pretty nice looking mouse i think it is definitely a classic glorious mouse with the glorious logo on it and then some of that accent to it but I really like the fit in the hand and the sort of shape and size of it. It's got a nice matte finish, so it should be nice and grippable. There's no grip tape included. But obviously, you do have that perforated honeycomb shell, so you should be able to just hold on to that nice and easily. Although how that stands up to the dirt and dust or Cheeto dust of <laughs> gamer goodness that remains to be seen. But inside the box, you do get a number of other things. Some switch buttons, which we'll get to in a minute because they're swappable, as I said, and I'll show you the process for that. And then the wireless dongle, an adapter, and a USB-C charging cable. Now, the USB dongle is obviously pretty straightforward. That'll give you 2.4 gigahertz for the best low latency connection. But one of the other things that I really consistently think is a bit weird with Glorious products, and they keep doing it, I don't understand why, is having a USB-C cable that only fits in one way. So this USB-C cable, you'll notice, has a little sort of marking on the top of it, and that's to let you know the direction you're meant to plug it in, because this cable won't plug in both ways, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. Isn't that one of the highlights of USB-C that you can plug it in whatever direction you want to? So a bit frustrating, especially if you're fiercely trying to plug your mouse in while you're in the middle of battle because the charges run low so weird and also it's not just on the adapter it's also on the mouse itself so as you can see it won't work there either 
it will plug in nicely the right way, but if you try and do it the wrong way, it's an issue. It's a small complaint, but it's a weird one because I've raised it in basically every review I've done of Glorious Mice recently, and I've not seen it on other mice, really. It's a bit illogical. However, that cable is nice and floppy, as you'd expect, and so it shouldn't be an issue in terms of tugging on there. The other things you get in the box are a number of switch buttons. So on the left-hand side, there's some switches that you can change, basically. So there's a little tool included, which looks like a SIM key for your phone. And basically what you've got to do is pull those off. Now, I've said already that there's a QR code that you can scan to get a guide on this, but I'm also going to show you how to do it. You basically just put that key underneath the switch and flick it up in the air and it pops off. You'll see that it has a number of feet on it and then it just slides back into place. These are magnetic switches, but it basically gives you the option to customize the shape and style of the mouse a little bit. Or in terms of the fitment of this front lower button, and then the rear one at the back. So you can't do the front two mouse switch buttons with thumb, but you can do these other two. So you have some options in terms of tweaking it. I've seen this on previous Glorious Mice, and it is a nice little thing that you can do because you can switch out in a variety of ways. You can even use this little blanking plate where essentially you're just getting rid of the mouse at hardware level rather than having to reprogram it in software and just put up with it. You can just completely get rid of it. So it just makes it recess completely into the body and then obviously you've got a shiny slippery surface instead of the matte one but it is an option and then you can do the rear one now, i think the rear one will probably be the most noticeable it's really going to just depend on the size of your hand and how you like to grip the mouse but it is nice option you'll notice these are a slightly different design in their shape and the way they fit into the mouse but essentially it allows you to change this. That rear one can jut out quite far. So if you hate it, you can just blank it out completely or change it for the other design. So a nice little highlight to it. Now, this mouse outside of the box I was immediately struck, as you might well be, by the similarity to another mouse, and that's the Logitech G502X and the X+. Plus. So this is the most recent lineup of Logitech mice and remarkably similar ergonomic shape and design. Obviously, some differences. The Logitech mouse, for example, has those DPI buttons on the front and it has rubber textured grips and it isn't honeycomb, but it is ever so slightly similar in terms of the fit in the hand, what it looks like and the specs as well. I'm going to do an in-depth video to compare the two because I think it's worth sort of putting them side by side in a bit more detail and talking about all the different features and what I like and don't like. But I'll save that for the review. So subscribe if you haven't already and you're interested in seeing that. I want to find out more about that and more about this mouse as a whole. But as you can see, nice shape and size in the hand, good fit. The buttons have a really satisfying click to them as well. Nice and loud and just nice satisfying sound there. So stick around now to hear a little sound test and then come back for the full review and versus videos in the near future.